What's going on, man? It's Nasarima, aka the Bullheaded Zodiac, uh, Louisville, Kentucky, 502 representative, Grammy Rhyme Regime. Uh, just released a new album, The Jesus Piece. You need to check it out. You go to myspace.com backslash Nasarima777. Uh, also working on this new project with Dr. Gonzo over there in Clarks, Vegas, known as Scanners. Just doing the same thing everybody else does, underground circuit, working it. Um, the name's Nasarima, which is American backwards. Uh, I've been rocking it since about 1998. A lot of people are starting to hear the American dream now with Papoose. And I'm like, ah, I've been rocking this since 98, 99. It's basically what it is. It's American backwards, like I said. Uh, originated from actually a culture anthropology class I was on, where an actual uh, anthropologist took our culture and flipped it to what people look at third world cultures as and shows ignorance basically of how we look at other cultures and how we quote the judge uh, because we looked at our own culture and made fun of it basically throughout this book. So I, I was really shocked by how it worked and I loved it. So what I did is I took it in the aspect of taking an everyday topic or anything that people wrap around and flip it around to a whole different way of speaking about it. So you know, a basic sentence I may completely flip it to, to a whole other level so you have to actually listen or study it more before you can even do it so it's actually looking at an object in the opposite way. word up man you got the jesus peace product man so you know you gotta explain explain the title man to the people man. basically man you know i got i got the whole the whole hype behind the jesus peace is nowadays you hear a lot about it people talking about it in certain aspects and what it really means uh to me i take it and took it in terms of what Jesus piece is to me, the music's my Jesus piece, you know, it saved me throughout the life and a lot of things that I've done. So I took that, incorporated it with today's generation and culture values of it and just decided to go with it and roll with it, trying to show that what I speak is my Jesus piece. My CD's my Jesus piece, the music's my, you know, it saved me, it's what made me what I am today. So I took it in that retrospect and made it, you know, worthwhile and brought out a whole CD for the backboard of it, so. So if somebody was to pick up the Jesus piece, man, what can they expect? Man? What kind of uh, sound can they expect? Originality. I've always stuck to originality. You, know, you can never listen to something I bring out and be like, oh, it sounds like such and such. Uh, of course, I stay with the raw form of the music, the lyrics on it, you know, but at the same time, generating, generating more producers. I've been working with more producers as well, a variety of not only here in locally, but outwards as well, you know, going across states, underground circuit, working with other people, try to reach out and connect. Mainly, mainly in that area, you get a lot of good vibe to it, as well as a lot of grimy feel to it. So it's it's a mixture of a lot of things. You know, if you like lyrics, you're gonna love it most definitely, because that's what my background is. Uh, if you like, you know, a good beat to behind that stuff as well, you're gonna like that too. So you have your choice, both high quality. So, so it's the lexical madman paralyzing parasites, the human anaconda squeezing life out of mics with that verbal witchery, lyrically performing the jargon wizardry. See, I've been overdosing with that imagery. I put a hex on those necks to show drama. The walking phantom crushing heads before the first comma. And I attack fallen lords that resort to marching hordes, battle with the fierceness of holy wars. And I've decided to fight it with forces providers. So decided to fight it, there'll be a lot of colliding titans. Man, I melt flesh off bones with heat off microphones. The walking cyclone that crushes rhymes what I own They don't want to battle The man with two shadows The hip-hop head banging It spits the heavy metal With writings containing more prophecies The Bible's my arrival With tribal revival We're bringing inning to idols A verbal alien Lay eggs in your rib cage. Watch your body explode Like swallow grenades Engage in artworks To start wars Like Star Wars Attack like platoon combat And Vietnam tours Though the clueless I mean the useless the gift of rhymes equivalent to human bowel movements. I mean, I'm trying to take it back when music had meaning, like in the days of John Coltrane. Giving it out, Nas Rima, much love to my man and John's dope. Wow, man, we are, we in 2009, man. Yes. You know I'm saying, give me your opinion on the state of hip hop right now. Uh, state of hip hop, man. You know, everybody talks about how it's got to evolve. Uh, I think there's a lot of silliness out here, though. Again, everybody has their opinion. I don't knock, any, knock anybody for doing what they're doing. I appreciate everybody trying to do what they do, so I'll never be one that says somebody's doing something bad or somebody's doing wrong. Uh, my opinion, though, hip-hop is lacking a lot of heart. Uh, it's gained more fashion and more fad, and I think it's lost a lot of heart. It's a lot of, loss of, a, a lot of dignity for it. I think a lot of people are just made to do hip-hop rather than being people who have lived hip-hop. Again, you know, rap is just one segment of hip hop. I think the culture in itself, though, has evolved in good ways as well as some that needs, you know, improvement. You know, but you know, that's my opinion. Uh, as in for the aspect and the element of 
music, my part, I think that a lot of lyricists have fallen off. I think a lot of people lack what true lyricism is. But there's some of us out there that are bringing that back, so. Man, who's the top five MCs alive? Uh, I mean, there ain't no top five. Like I said, that's your opinions for real. Uh, well, who's your top favorite? See, you, you have your different subjects of it, but, uh, man, I did. talking about lyricists. Who's the top Who's the for top me, of course, I, right enjoy, now. I enjoy Tony. You know, Starks is always a big fan of mine. I love Ghostface. Uh, the Chef, obviously, running things on his stuff. A lot of people don't know about I'm a big fan of Chino XL. I think Chino XL, lyrically, is, dominates a lot of fields in the area. Uh, I'm a big Vinny Paz fan when it comes to visions. Uh, of course, I'll give it up in, in a whole other field. Jay-Z, obviously, you know, he's running things. Um, uh, Sirius Jones, you know, I don't know about Sirius Jones, p -Pin. He's doing a lot. That's more than five, obviously, but um, like I said, it's not, I can't really pick more than you got to look at different levels. But right then, that's pretty much what I'm listening to more than anything right now. So.